previously on My Farming Life. Hello. Hey, it's Trevor. How are you? Yes, how are you doing, Trevor? Good. I've come across a tractor that may just be perfect for you. And let me tell you, this tractor is an absolute gem. Immaculate condition, low hours, it's practically a steal. Similar to what you're demoing right now. But with its condition and hours, I've got folks lining up for it. I wouldn't want you to miss out. How about we meet up this evening? I'll have it ready for you to inspect. Yeah, absolutely. That sounds interesting. This evening it is. Trust me. Once you see it in person, you won't want to let it slip away. Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to My Farm and Life. It is a beautifully crisp, frosty, wintry morning here at the end of December. This is a bit of an end of year review, really, because there's not much else that we can do at the moment. We're just in the habit of, in the cycle of feeding up cattle, cleaning out cattle, and rinsing and repeating, really. Uh, you'll see that we're standing in one of the fields that we drilled earlier in the autumn there, and it's looking looking pretty good. A uh, field of oats here should be coming along very nicely indeed. To my right over there is a cover crop. We're going to be sticking some uh, root crops or some beef into there in the future. Uh, once things start to warm up a little bit more and then down the bottom end will be a bit of spring barley as well uh, We've been okay with our drilling this year We got everything done pretty early and in relatively good conditions and we had to maul a little bit of it into the ground uh, But there's still a lot of cover crops in for some spring barley and also beans as well They'll be going in this year. So that's something that we're gonna have to get on top of the grass Grassland's growing okay it's uh it'll get another kick of fertilizer in the form of uh, liquid manure in the spring as soon as that band lifts in the, the uh, field conditions are good we're going to get on in and we're going to get everything spread there but you can see a good amount of grass on there already uh which is good news because we're we're running out in the pit down here uh bit by bit it's only like i say end of december and uh, we're well through it past halfway now so we're going to keep going uh and get some coverage for that the straw is looking pretty good Happy with it. Plenty left there. And there's also a, a hip bit down there. Um, I am forever moving muck around at the moment. And uh, that is only part of the issue. Our slurry separator has been running overdrive. And we now have, well, essentially, uh, pretty much a whole um, compound here to move. So we're going to have to get onto that as well. Because you can see, look at all this stuff. It's a little bit different to what you'd expect. Uh, it's a, it's a, a drier material here because it's essentially been wrung out of the slurry. But it's uh yeah it's gonna be good we're gonna cut the way we're gonna spread it like we no would normally uh this will be this will be gold dust really it'll be fantastic and that'll get everything going away nicely we are we're gonna be going pretty quickly as soon as the weather will permit in january uh january is gonna be a crazy month for us here uh main reason being because of what's gonna happen right in front of me here this is gonna be our new shed coming in and we're gonna have to get on it pretty quickly the builders are coming in first week of january um i believe they don't work over christmas so that's why they're not here now uh, and we since had a little bit of a change around with our architects and the build, building engineers because the shed is now going to run long ways out here. It's going to run parallel to that big shed over there. Uh, and it's going to, the main reason we're doing that is it's going to allow us to have a little bit more of a track to come around here, down to like where I'm standing, around there and around the shed. So uh, it's going to be a long, uh, it's going to be still be a fairly wide cattle shed there, but it'll give us plenty of space to work around with as well, which is good. I mean, we're already coming all the way out to here anyway, so what's a little bit more space? Uh, and we'll have to get a muck bin in here as well just to make sure we have enough room because like i say muck is everywhere right now and we're going through it uh we've been using my massey this week to actually cut a little bit of slurry down from the uh the tank that has the, the satellite yard because that was getting a little bit too full uh so we brought a bit down here and we're probably on this tank now we're probably about the first ring there so plenty of space left not too concerned about that at all uh, and then we'll be good to go. Uh, the new ground becomes ours tomorrow, well, in the next few days. Uh, and we will be in there probably in about a week's time uh, to start working that down, plowing it over, putting a bit of muck out there as well. We've been carting a lot down, so it's ready to go. Uh, and then we'll be able to get going with it, really. So uh, that's going to be rather cool. But the time that you've been with us for most of this year has been quite intense. Uh, there's been a lot happening, not new, a lot of new land uh, to take on and acquire. So a lot of uh, more field work. Uh, using that new combine to us for the first time and getting through some field work there. Uh, we lost our treasured 7740 uh, to a, a blowing engine. Uh, so we have bought a new tractor. Uh, we bought my new tractor over there, which has just been an absolute stud. It really has. It's absolutely flying along. 
Uh, so we have that one ready to go at all times. But we also were able to buy another tractor. Now, this is something that you haven't seen yet. And this was something that in our last episode, I was speaking with Trevor and he rang me up and said he had this, this must-see, must-see tractor. We had to go and see it. So we did go and see it and he wasn't wrong. And we really liked it and we liked it so much that it's now actually behind these doors right here. So we're going to unveil our new tractor. This is Bungle's Christmas present really to himself uh, because it's an absolute gem. And it's, uh, we have financed it. It wasn't uh, it wasn't cheap or we couldn't really afford to buy what with all of our other outlays so we um we decided to finance it and i think it was for for the best the right decision to make uh and it's really going to allow us just to you know have another new modern machine in the fleet there uh, allow us to expand the capabilities of uh, the other tractors uh, this one for example can pull a five for a plow uh and it'll easily boss the four for a plow that's not a problem at all but it will allow us to to grow the fleet and that's what we were looking into so i'm very very pleased about that uh so let's have a look at it really what lies behind this door uh get your guesses in right about now This is the Massey Ferguson 5S145. It's about a year and a half old at this point in time. And we like this one because of a few things. First of all, it is ex we really, really like the last Massey that we had. We had the full spec, the full trim model in. And uh, Bungle really liked it when he was driving it around. And uh, yeah, we thought it was nice. And we've, we got on really well with our other Masseys. And so that made sense for us. It's small. It's compact. It has a great uh, short wheelbase for us to be able to use it for the same small jobs that the Ford was doing without any issues. It can still pull a punch if it needs to. can still pull a plow, lift a plow. But it's still small enough that it can be really handy, uh, which is the main thing. Um, it's it's used. It, it was part of a trade-in. A uh, farmer down south was actually getting a bit bigger. So you need to trade this up for something. I think he actually went up to a, a 7S, if I'm not mistaken. So... Uh, this was part of the trade-in, so it's been well looked after. It's been well worn in, to be honest. It's, uh, it's got over the initial uh, bedding in hours, and it's it's in a great position. A little bit over two and a half thousand hours on the clock, and it has been yeah, it's been used. It's been worn in there, which is great. Uh, it's in immaculate condition, as you can well see. It looks superb. But we were able to get this for a very decent price, a fair price, I thought, and that's fantastic because that allows us to. To finance it for a little bit of a better price uh, we're not paying brand new book price on anything uh, so i'm really pleased with it but crucially as well the one drawback of the one complaint that i felt bungle was going to have and he did have was that the cabin was far too complex for him whereas this one you can see it's a few models down i think we're in the efficient here uh which is it still has some of the functionality still has the joystick in front of you there but it's, there's only one joystick it's on the arm which he really liked as well and we're down two different screens. So we've only got one screen there for GPS and for general functionality. But the rest of it is all analog. It's all levers. And for someone like Bungle there, that's exactly what he wanted. Uh, it's a much, much easier tractor to drive uh, for him. And, you know, he's, that's what he wants to use. And that's how he wants to use it also. Fair play to him. And we'll, we'll give him everything he needs there. But, yeah, like I say, it is very, very nice. We're actually going to be using this one for first spinning, I think, this year. Because, like I say, it's got the power, but it's it's not quite got the the weight uh that my tractor has so we have a weight block on the front so we can handle that because we are going to be getting something new in the new year to to use for that one so stay tuned and stay close to that uh we've got front and rear pto uh we have front linkage on here as well which we can uh, i'm not sure we really have a use for it at the moment but it's nice to know that it's there uh the view from inside this thing is just lovely it really is let's get that shut and then bring that in once you're inside it yeah it is just very nice you've got different joysticks and transmission options on this one as well but we have the dyna 6 model uh and like i say top of the range is a 145 but this is just a very nice tractor as far as i'm concerned i really really like it uh it won't replace mine of course it won't because mine's a lot heavier uh, a lot more horsepower it's just a four cylinder pocket rocket as far as i'm concerned there but it has its place on our farm that's for sure so we will keep an eye on it to see what else we can use 
this for um like now for example i'm gonna take it for a bit of spin because we got some more muck to go and uh, move so it's gonna be nice to just to get used to it really and, and have a different tractor on the yard there we go as we get through the gears but it's, everything is just in a much better place now we had to act pretty quickly on this one because there was a little bit of a demand for it um it, you know good machine there good price and, and uh, available straight away so we we pulled the trigger a little bit earlier than maybe we were expecting to but you know i think it was the, the right move to make we looked at a lot of different machines there and brand new and going old but i even looked down at a, a 2004 musty but it was just too old for what we needed and it wasn't really gonna uh, tick all the boxes but this one i really think does uh it gives us this that extra little bit of uh, functionality uh we're gonna squeeze through here I feel like I've done this a lot of late coming to pick this trailer up, but it's all that we have to do really at the moment. Uh, you'll see this here before we go any further. Taking a bit of a battering from the frost here, but this is linseed that's coming through. It looks more like a weed at times, but it's uh, it's growing pretty well. Uh, we've been really lucky up here. We've avoided a lot of the flooding, uh, which has been fantastic. Uh, you know, we haven't had anything rot out before it's, it's come through the ground. So we've done really well as far as that's concerned um some farmers not so lucky elsewhere and they're redrilling things trying to have any sort of a chance so i'm very very pleased about that uh, we'll just come forward a little bit further there you go all right that's us and onwards so yeah this is the major major project so really for this uh 2023 it's seen us bring in two new tractors increase our land significantly uh increase our cattle and our headstock for cattle as well significantly with a new satellite yard new pens coming up there a, a whole new slurry tank and tower a slurry separator which is a whole new concept to us as a farm so it's it's really been a phenomenal time for growth for us and as a foursome we're really pushing on uh we've got some good ideas i'm trying to bring a lot of sustainability into the into the yard and into the buildings uh to try and make them work as much as possible uh from our farm business and practice standpoint we did okay in the grain markets we could have made a little bit more our yields across the board were okay i'm very pleased that we are moving away from oilseed rape though because that has been a disaster and i don't think we'd have got that established very well had we have persevered with it so that has been good and you know pigeons are pigeons and they always cause us issues uh but not so much anymore the next year is going to see a bit of a challenge with our uh, change in, into our sustainable farming incentives so that's going to be a little bit more of a um a change of approach in many respects and uh, trying to modernize some of our practices and some of the equipment that we use for that but we'll, we'll get there we will get there but yeah would you look at it would you look at that it looks beautiful now it's gonna be a great addition to us i really do believe so that's now three masses on the fleet which i am delighted about uh obviously and uh we need to get some muck taken away here uh, we also saw the addition of this john deere telehandler it was an investment that i didn't expect to come uh you know we sold off one of our old tractors as well and this was, this came back from the sale rather than uh, a, a check i suppose but uh you know it's been such a huge change up to this farm and having a, a, just a lot more efficiency that i don't know why we didn't do it any earlier really but it is it's part of the practice now and i think with this and the map bro that we have at the other place there we're well equipped to be able to handle anything that throws our way uh and certainly with the cost of anything newer these days uh it's it's not gonna it's gonna be prohibitive really for any new uh telehandlers to come into the business anytime soon but why would we need them uh we have plenty of capacity for our uh, tractors now we have plenty of capacity with our combine and with our um with our grain trailers as well with the addition of the new one uh new bale trailer as well because we're going to start to be carting in a lot more straw uh, around the, the farm and around the land that we have and hopefully trying to sell a little bit more here and there as well to bring in extra revenue uh so that'll be interesting to see uh and then yeah we will we'll really be able to see this farm kick on over the next 12 months uh the farm buildings down here are going to stay the same with the exception of the new cattle shed that's going up there and that should take a couple of months to finish i would imagine uh that's what we've been quoted as soon as everything or assuming that everything goes well uh so yeah it'd be really interesting to see just how that journey progresses and what that will entail for us uh you know over the course of january we're expecting the first parts to be delivered uh, like um some of the metal work and things and then there's gonna be a hole dug in the ground early uh, early in january and from there well we'll just have to see how this journey uh transpires and progresses but lots of change coming up with it anyway and i can't wait to show you all what that's gonna be like uh 
next year as well we're hoping to bring you a little bit more from our establishment from our new plans that we bring in to try and be more in house with the uh with the development of our um our beef patterning and our um finishing we want to be as uh, as efficient as possible with the production of uh, different feeds and inputs that we need so we don't have to rely too much on externals we are going to be um installing the cake bin very soon that should be coming in there to allow us just to uh control and store a little bit more we rely on mineral feed as an additive in our total mixed ration but the problem that we have with it is we have to buy it in pallet form right now which is expensive if i could buy it in bulk we would be saving quite a bit of money so that's what we're going to look into do that's going to be a uh, a nice investment to have in soon enough we've been looking at things like that for a while there and as part of the the new development down here we'll get that stuck in at the same time i believe uh so yeah looking forward to seeing that one and ultimately you know it's all just about growth you gotta grow and you gotta uh, get bigger to survive these days and try and absorb a lot more of those costs and spread those out per, across each acre and across each head of cattle so that's exactly what we're going to do uh, there's four of us still working this farm and we need to keep four people busy and uh you know for the farm to provide for the four so that's exactly what we're doing and it's uh, with cousins help and focus um solely on the cattle there mine more on the uh arable side of things we'll be able to really cover some ground i can't wait so uh that my friends is going to be really exciting for us to see and i would love it for you to all come along for the ride and see what this next year looks like so let me know down below if you have any thoughts, questions, or comments. Uh, anything you'd like to see during the uh, development of the yard. Uh, we'll try and bring you along for the ride there. Hopefully soon as well. We'll not just be carting muck around and uh, shifting slurry tanks from uh, one to another. Hopefully we'll be able to get some proper work done soon. And uh, now that we have those extra two fields down at Bellum, well, that's just going to be a little bit more land work for us to get cracking along with as well. But we'll see how that looks right now it is a quiet day uh we are like i say towards the end of december not much else is happening and uh bungle is actually just out the office uh i'll say out the office he is actually in the office out of the farmyard he's doing some paperwork so i'm stealing this tractor we're gonna have a play with it on the road see how i like it it all sounds a bit clunky but i'm sure it's okay Okay. Got plenty of pokes for it. And away we go. Nice and easy. Beautiful little tractor. This one it is stunning. Really do like it an awful lot. So, that's us. Let me know what you think of the new tractor. The new addition to the fleet here. What you would have gone for if you have one of these. If you've used one. I'm curious to hear. But we are... We're loving it. And it's going to be massive. And I can't wait to really get it stuck into work with some spring work here as well. So uh we will leave it at that for now i hope you have enjoyed i have been simulation for the nation this has just been a very quick wintry update as there's not much else happening really and we can't get on with a great deal whilst it's this cold and we're you know still a bit wet in places but hey the frost is firming up which means we may be able to get in the ground to get some mug, sp mug spread soon we'll have to see uh but oh look at this thing click through the gears hello 43k we'll take it and we're going to head off down to that well-trodden path down the Bellum. So thank you very much for watching. We will leave it here. I do hope you have enjoyed. If you have and you've yet to do so, please do consider giving a thumbs up. Subscribe for more from Simulation for the Nation. And uh, you'll see more of my farming life coming up every week. Until then, do stay safe. Enjoy what you're doing as always. And we shall see you later.